So Ross, during today's trading session, the cattle market has been in the red and we know that's largely part to the JBS fire in Grand Island, Nebraska. So when you look at today's trading session and the cattle markets, how much of an impact has this been on the markets today? We had that unfortunate news, you know, come out late last night and we did see an immediate impact to the cattle market here. We saw some aggressive trading early on in today's session. They had the front three months, October and December and February. They were all down about two, two and a half dollars. We have since stabilized, I would say, a little bit here. October's, you know, down a buck and, you know, February's down $1.35. We have seen, um, you know, December and February kind of take the brunt of the selling here um, late this morning. And that doesn't surprise me, you know, a ton, just given the amount of uncertainty that we've got in the market. We also have the Goldman roll that's going on. So with that and this, this JBS uncertainty, I would expect to see... Um, December and February, you know, continue to trade risk off and, and potentially see, you know, this bear spreading action with these front months versus the back months. And to branch off from that, we don't know a lot of information right now. We know there was a fire. Some of the local TV stations there say it appears to be on the roof and the walls on the rendering side, but we really don't know much beyond that. So when we don't know much right now, what are you going to watch the next couple of trading sessions this week as we as we move forward? Yeah, I mean, the biggest thing I would just continue to watch is, you know, just the price action here as far as, you know, pricing this kind of uncertainty. And we'll more than likely see it, you know, October and December and February futures. We know this plant holds, what, a 5,000 to 6,000 head capacity. So is that usually a capacity like that? Is that usually a big impact to the market? Or like you said, do we just need to know more information? Yeah, these these plants, you know, these five to 6,000 head uh, slaughter facilities. I mean, these these are the largest ones in the in the nation. So you know, the the time the timeline on all of this is is what ultimately will you know have a a big impact on the futures market. All right, Ross. Thank you for your time. And for those watching, my name is Betsy Jibben, and I am the media director for Ag Market Consulting, reporting for AgMarket.net.